time to go wild camping again and as you see uh, it's a bit colder now it's snow and uh, it's because I'm back in Torsby uh, that's where I did my first wild camping video and um, the first snow just fell here it's the first of, of December and uh, I will attempt to go hot tenting up on a mountain that's behind these trees not very far from the house where we are spending the, the weekend um, my biggest concern is if I will be able to get the stove going because it's been a very damp uh, November and uh, yeah we'll see if I can get any firewood uh, that's that's dry enough to get the stove going to take me through the evening um, if I don't succeed I think I'll just abort mission and go back to to uh, to the house Lost bit of, uh, of sun for a while. <clears throat> Going into the, to the woods to climb that mountain now. Going to be a bit darker. Yeah, starting to get, starting to get a bit uh, out of breath already, because the climb is uh, is starting. My, uh, yeah, my gear, it's uh, it weighed in at 25 kilos. So uh, yeah, that's where I hopes, that's where I seem to to be ending up every time. And this time I am bringing almost no water at all, just uh, just one liter, because my plan is to drink this and to to melt snow on the stove. But as I said, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so I uh, think I found my my spot. Quite flat area up here, and I do have some view out here. You can see another mountain on the other side of uh, Lake Fryken. I, I can actually see a little bit of Fryken as well. So uh, it's not a perfect view, but it's something. And behind here we have the sun somewhere, so. I have some more hours of sun, so I need to get the tent up, get stove, stove tested so I see that it actually works, and collect firewood if I'm going to, to spend the night here. So finally got the tent set up. Lavu, Lavu, I don't know what it's called really, but it's, yeah, yeah, like a teepee tent. And um, I will raise the uh, the stovepipe through that opening you see there. Uh, I have actually raised it a couple of times before without doing any YouTube videos. Uh, I've been out with friends and, and family, but. Uh, yeah, this was probably the most challenging time so far because uh, I started out that on this place, but uh, once I started to to uh, try to to uh, nail it down to the ground, I couldn't because it was just uh, rock. So yeah, I just couldn't get it to get it nailed down to the ground. So I had to move it here, where I have 
yeah, some uh, vegetation so I get a little bit of, of traction on the on the nails at least. So uh, yeah, next stove and then after that I'm, I'm going to look for firewood. Okay, getting inside the tent and first things first, I need a chair of course. If I'm going to mount a, a stove I need something comfortable to sit on of course. Uh, my beloved camping chair. It's not uh, that view is not too bad actually. What I'm seeing here. Ooh, cool tubes. It is around minus 10 degrees Celsius, but it's uh, almost no wind, so that's why I can I can do I can uh, do this without my gloves. Of course, I'm in the tent now. Also, so no wind in here. There we go. Ah, nice. Okay. So, uh, as I said, I have pitch, pitched the tent a couple of times before this, up with uh, friends and family. Um, so I kind of know how to do it now. It's the first time on my own. I got this quite expensive, expensive uh, titanium folding stove. Um, it only weighs two kilos, so that's why it, I can actually have it in my backpack. So that's part of the 25 kilos, uh, besides the tent and other stuff. But yeah, it's a Chinese stove, uh, expensive, even though it's Chinese, and it's because it's, it's made of uh, titanium, so um, I guess that's expensive. But it works, and it is quite easy to fold the, the stove itself, it's quite easy to, uh, to fold and unfold the stove pipe, a little bit more difficult. This uh, quick quick releases here on the wall. Just put them in there. Maybe I should wear gloves to do this. Just, uh, of course, this one is dirty now. Having used it a couple of times, as you see, it's quite easy to unfold. I just put the lid on the top one like this, also with quick, uh, quick releases. And there it is. This stuff is for the stovepipe I'll get to in a minute. And uh, I also got this kind of uh, fireproof cloth, which I'm not sure is really needed when it's so cold. The stove pipe should come somewhere here near near the center pole. So I think that's pretty good. Something like that. It's probably good. So stove pipe next. To mount the stove pipe, I need uh, gloves on because it's uh, it's made of really thin um, titanium sheet metal. So you can actually cut yourself on it, so it's recommended to have gloves.
This is the uh, spark arrestor. We'll mount it later. This is uh, the cover that I need uh, when when the stovepipe goes through the the roof, so I don't burn the, um, the tent material. Now this is act the actual stove. So um, yeah, this just uh, rolls out. Should more or less roll it up. Yeah. So you can see it does. And we put these rings on it. Start from this way. You can see what's going on. I put all of them here. And then put them on like 50 centimeter distance. There you have it, stove pipe. Now I get need to get this uh, assembled, the protection for when, where the stove is going through the roof. And this is quite fiddly, so I think I'll sit down in my chair to do it. All right. get this assembled quite fiddly so far haven't learned a really quick technique on how to do it um, so the stove pipe goes through here and then this is a spacer and then this goes towards the the actual tent so you have some air in between so the Stove pipe do, don't get in direct contact with the um, uh, with the tent, so it's an important function. Okay, that's one. Whew. Okay, I think we have it set. Okay, let's put it on the stove pipe. Okay, take um, the top, the top uh, rings away and uh, put the protector on instead. Quite far because the pipe is too long. There we go. Let's get it back to the right spot. There we go. Okay, and rings back on the top. There we go. Now it's just a spark arrestor remaining. And that one is here. So let's see if we can fit that one. Yeah. There we go. It's on. Okay. Time to get the stovepipe in the tent.
Yeah. There it is. Yeah. It's a very, <laughs> very long stovepipe. I need to shorten it, I think, a bit for the next time. But it's there. So uh, now it's time to get the some firewood. I'm actually expecting visitors as well. Uh, should come to have some coffee. So I better uh, get that fire started. Yeah, what do you think of this? It's an old, uh, it's a fallen pine. And I'm, my plan is I take these branches, get a few of them, um, and then just test, can I get a fire started with, with these? And if it works, then I will uh, take more from this one and, and spend the night. If it doesn't work, then I think I just pack everything down and go back home again. First challenge is to get the saw up. There we go. Cheap saw, like seven euros. So let's get uh, some of these branches processed, see if I can get a fire going. Okay. Here we go. Material for a test fire. So I actually ran out of battery on the, on the mobile phone. Um, I do have a power bank with me, but I forgot the, uh, the cable. So now I'm uh, without phone. Uh, so I'm recording this on my, on my laptop. I'm just now trying to get the fire started. Uh, it doesn't look super promising so far. Uh, these branches were pretty wet um, so uh, yeah these are the defining moments will I be able to stay here the night or not but uh, yeah being without the cell phone was that was bad um, I might get it started again because it got too cold and now I have it close to my body to, to get it heated up but uh, yeah we'll see yeah, fire is not looking great. Uh, it's more or less only the fire starter that's burning and not the collected wood. Give it a few more minutes. Maybe, maybe the fire is now getting uh, going. I added another fire starter and uh, I think it looks like it's catching on actually. So I will try this coffee. I got myself a sandwich. I have this uh, coffee. It's called, um, yeah, it's a type of coffee you put in a pot like this, not the ordinary brew coffee. Very hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's quite good. Yeah, getting a bit dark. Uh, I put my my headlamp up up as a as a lamp for the tent, but it's not uh, it's not sufficient. It is lighter than than what it appears here on the video, but. Um, yeah, I need a better lamp than this for sure. Yeah, this proved to be quite difficult. I do have uh, 
fire going, but my cell phone is out and my new headlight is out as well after a few hours. Uh, I have it on charge now. At least I got the fire going pretty good, but uh, yeah, I'm doubting if this will uh, last me all night and this is all the wood I have and I don't have an axe to split the really big pieces there so um, I'm hoping I will get so good embers here that I can put the big logs in in there um, they actually seem to be quite dry try to do some cooking I have some snow melting right now on the stove I have some potato here and onions and I also have egg with me so I'm going to do uh, like a Spanish omelette or tortilla that's the plan. We'll see if this is warm enough to be able to to uh, boil the potatoes and uh, then actually fry the tortilla. Okay, that's all the potato. Fire is starting to get good. A pretty big log in there now so hopefully that will give a lot of embers to keep all the rest of the firewood going it's now 10 30 in the evening i uh, finally had the uh, potatoes boiled so now i'm cooking up that tortilla i will add some eggs soon uh, and i did get the fire properly started Oops. yeah sorry about the uh, poor video quality I uh, forgot the charging cable for the iPhone so this is with the Mac MacBook Air but uh, yeah, it's cooking and it's smelling good and soon I'll have some warm, warm nice food before going to bed. And this is what the uh, bed looks like. We'll see how cold it will get. It's going to be minus 10 degrees Celsius tonight, so um, we'll see how that goes. So, dinner is ready, finally. So, here we have it. It's, uh, yeah, like a tortilla. So it's potato, onions, garlic, and eggs. And that's fried. Potatoes were boiled first, and then I have this um, uh, cabbage um, salad to go with it. It does look a bit of a mess but I promise you it tastes so lovely right now. It's uh, yeah 10.45 in the evening. It took a while to get dinner ready. I think this will be the uh, I will not shoot any more video. It's quite um, difficult with the uh, with a Mac so um, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to bed so see you in the morning good morning time is uh, 6 20 and it's time to get up it is uh, it has been minus 10 tonight but I've been uh, quite comfy in uh, my sleeping bag and my new sleeping pad um, C to Summit uh, sleeping pad. I don't remember the, the brand, but it was supposed to be one of the most comfortable ones on the market, and uh, I have to say that it was. Um, so, yeah, as I ate everything last night, um, and um, I will not be able to get the stove started uh, today, I thought I'd just get up, even if it's pitch dark outside still I get up 
use my headlamp and start packing packing up and then by the time I'm ready it should be uh, a bit brighter so I can walk home safely so finally all packed up it took me two hours uh, now I have this fantastic morning here with a view uh, great sunrise in the very chilly uh, forest I think it's uh, it is still around 10 degrees minus uh, Celsius and yeah I think uh, mornings are usually one of the best things every time when I go wild camping so nice to wake up to this some reflections from um, from this wild camping I knew it was going to be a challenge with uh, with the firewood and it was I just barely uh, kept the fire going and uh, barely was able to, to cook food and another reflection I have as well as is that yeah it's nice to go solo camping but I did have visit from my family they came up came up here to um, yeah to have a to visit me have a cup of coffee and it was so nice and I kind of missed them uh, after they left so I think yeah uh, one solo while camping once in a while but uh, I think camping is, is actually really a social thing um, you do want to share experience like this with with someone for next time uh, if I'm doing this again I will have to make sure that I have better chances of, of getting a good fire uh, going thank you for watching see you next time